Good morning guys and welcome back. So if you own a Jeep, you probably got a hard top or a soft top. More than likely, with either one of those things, you're going to get water inside your Jeep. With water, it's going to create rust. Um, and if you're like me and you like carpet inside your Jeep, a lot of the times the Jeep, like the carpet inside gets really dirty, filthy, if you're out on the trails, it gets sandy, dark hair, all that sort of stuff. So I've seen a lot of people ask questions on the best formula to remove dog hair and sand from inside your carpet. And it's really straightforward. Um, the other thing we've got is rusty carpet. Now, where the sub used to sit inside the Jeep, there was a metal bracket sitting here. And as you can see, it's gone rusty on the carpet, it just looks horrible. Underneath the carpet looks horrible, um, and down the bottom of the, on the actual Jeep itself looks horrible. Now, I like having carpet on my car. Um, if it looks, I think it looks a whole lot better, keeps sound down, keeps heat down, that sort of stuff. But it's such a pain in the ass to clean. Um, and I understand that there's no surefire way to, or quick way to detail it or clean it. Um, it's just two simple things that I would use, and I've used for a long time, and carpet on the side of my, all my vehicles I've either had. All it is, is a Bowden Zone Fair Protection. Now Bowden Zone Fair Protection is about $20 a bottle from Super Cheap Auto. Now this deodorizes, cleans, um, it is a innovative deep cleaning formula, generally removes dirt and oils, yellow and stains uh, safe on all cloth and fabric including alcantara ultra suede carpet uh, car mats canvases even hood linings cleans off fresh food stains mud soft drink spills soft drink spills coffee ice cream car sickness and pet mishaps which is good we've got pretty much all those things cleans off mud really well as well so if you're out on the trails and you're worried about getting your carpet dirty don't be um, if you've got a bottle of this, and all I normally use is the vacuum, um, just a general cloth, um, and a dollar fifty brush from I think this was from Woolworths. I think it's like a dollar fifty. Um, it's like a hard bristle brush. Now this is fantastic for uh, prepping your carpet to vacuum, um, and then we can get on to cleaning. Now this will just pull out all the fibres in the carpet, like get all that stuck dog hair, uh, sand that's actually inside the carpet, and then. You've loosened it all up and ready the vac. So we'll prep the carpet first, as I said. Um, I've already done most of it because I thought I was recording, but I was actually just taking a bloody photo on this GoPro. Um, but I'll show you anyway. So all you want to do is do multiple directions. You already loosen up that carpet. You can be rough if you want. Be rough, get into there. You can see that dog here. I don't know if you can see it on camera or not. But it's really pulling up that dog here um, in that carpet. Especially, our dog doesn't shed, but a lot of people's got like huskies and stuff like that. That really shed here, which is awful. And that way, with that uh, small headed brush, like it's really thin, you can really get into those small grooves inside the carpet that a lot of bigger uh, bristle brushes can't, like down in the back of the seat. My carpet's not so dirty, I normally try and clean it every couple months. But you can see it poking up all that dog hair, sand and dirt. It really helps if you've got like some sort of liner like we do there. That's just from Super Cheap Auto, really cheap. But really effective of getting your carpets clean. Way when you're done, you can just go along. Having one of those tighter um, heads on your vac vacuum really helps as well, getting into those tight spots.
with the balance iron for protection, all you want to do is give it a good shake up. Couple like squirts. You got jet. You got a different couple different settings on there as well. You got jet and spray, like a finer mist, which I probably prefer. Um, do a few areas around it, get it nice and clean. That way you can get your brush that you've just used to clean the carpet. removed pretty much 90% of that rusty crap that was on there give it a nice wipe if dabbing it's not really working give it a nice wipe down if you need to Get the brush again. The other thing we want to clean as well is down in here, like you've got these bungs down in here which is awesome. Uh, so if you get water build up, uh, big things of dirt or whatever, you can just hose this out. But what that also does is let lets in water as well. So we've created this little bit of rusty crap down here. It's not bad, it's not dangerous to the chassis or whatever. Um, but these sills in the Jeep, um, as I said at the start, aren't the best. They let in a bit of water, especially from the uh, soft top. They're not the best in the world, but you get that uh, with a convertible car. So what we want to do is give that a nice tidy up. Um, and we've just got some universal like lazy wax here from Bowden Zone. Give it a few sprays. Get out, Greg. Really get that part off there. So, small parts down there as well. Fantastic. So, a couple more sprays. get that little rusty spot off that might be a, a bit of a sand and spot clean with that one that's a bit worrying because it's like one on that little joint I can get that one off there but with that one if anyone has got any ideas uh, whether we can sand that like give a little sand down or a bit of a spot clean with some new paint uh, let me know in the comments below because that needs a bit of attention but everything else is coming up pretty good like a brand new Jeep 
under there all clean. A couple of little rusty spots I should clean up. Um, we've got all that nice and tidied up under there. We've got the fold out shovel here as well. We've got a lightweight um, mat, uh, another towel, and some duct tape, which is necessary for most Jeeps. <laughs> um, and this perfect little spot here, I love this little encove that the JKs have. We probably utilize this area a little bit more, uh, but for the meantime, we've got the Hercules snatch strap, recovery strap in there. We've got some Allen keys. We've got like another. Um, towel in there and we've got the um, shackles in there as well but I'm just curious what's everybody kind of doing with their location in here I've seen some awesome little cutouts in there with um, different things but I'm just wondering what everybody's doing um, I wouldn't mind changing up a little bit um, I don't mind this at the moment this is where like the old original jack used to sit um, but it's a great location for storage easy to uh, get to and need it um, and this area here is kind of blocked off uh, we used to have the uh, mount like the little table uh, cut out the little fold floor sitting in there uh, we've just taken it out for a quick clean um, and a little bit of a fix up and stuff like that um, but I want to put that back in but I also want to get access to this section as well so I'm just curious what everybody's done with their area um, in terms of usability different sort of setup up and stuff like that so let me know in the comments down below uh, what you guys are doing uh, but that's pretty much it today guys uh, really simple i hope you guys enjoyed this video um if you did smash the like button and subscribe button if you haven't already um but it's really easy to clean your carpet get rid of dark hair and sound like that um it just takes a little bit of elbow grease with that um uh hard bristle brush um and a bit of clean with the fabric protection but it's a really common thing for jeeps especially with like hard tops and soft tops um like vehicles uh, to get like little rust spots, so don't be deterred. Don't be like, oh man, this is really bad um, It's actually really easy to clean. Uh, so that's pretty much it for today guys If you've liked this video, as I said before, smash that uh, like button and subscribe button But thank you guys so much for watching. I'll see you guys next time